Hello, everyone, again, and welcome to the new folks who have just joined us. You're in the right place at the right time. We'll be starting promptly in four minutes. Your host and presenter today, Melissa Armo, with thestocksquish.com. Uh, last person to join was Tin Cup 2. Tin Cup 2. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Kevin with Online Trader Central. We do want to welcome each and every one of you to the presentation today. We try to be respectful of your time. We try to start on time. We try to end on time. And we are especially appreciative of each and every one of you. We know the most important thing that anyone has is their time. And we appreciate the fact that you've, you've chosen to share your time with us here today. Uh, your host and presenter today is Melissa Armo with thestocksquish.com. And we are uh, uh, fortunate to have Melissa here with us again today. And uh, we do want to thank again each and every one of you and uh, welcome you. Uh, with that, the sound of the trumpets, you know it's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome your host and presenter from the stockswish.com. Please welcome. Thank you, everyone, and thank you, Kevin and Online Trader Central. Let me know if everyone can hear me. Welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. And today I'm going to talk about trading in the morning, in a very, very, very short period of time, just trading 30 minutes a day using one strategy that you can use to make six figures a year. So let's get started. Wonderful. If you have any questions, you can just write it in the room there. I will see the questions as we go along. And again, if you'd like more information, you can go to my website, www.thestockswoosh.com, or feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com as well. So if you're a busy person and you have limited time, you might be trying to think of some kind of way that you want to make extra cash, but you're really just not sure exactly what that is. And maybe you really your time is so limited that you don't have the time to take on another full part-time job where you'd work a full 30 hours a week. But the nice thing about trading, trading this one strategy in the market, is that it sets up very quickly every day. If you're someone also that is tired of your career or working for someone else, this might be a very good strategy for you as well. 
And if you've never traded before and you've thought about trading before, but you have no idea where to start, then this is a good place to start as well. Maybe you also trade now, but you don't have a strategy that makes you good money. You don't have a strategy that's consistent, that sets up daily in the market, or you don't have a strategy at all, okay? A lot of traders trade the market, but don't have a strategy. They think they do. When I ask people, what's your strategy? They describe something to me, but it's really what I would describe as a play instead of a strategy. And we're gonna talk about the difference of that today too. And again, many people that lose as traders in the market or investors lose because they simply have no strategy at all. And really the key is to having a strategy and not only that one that works extremely well in the market. Because if you don't have one, you need one. Whether your goal is full-time income, part-time income, savings, wealth, or retirement, there is one common denominator, an ingredient that is necessary for lasting success in the market. And that lasting success means that you're successful no matter how often you are in the market. Meaning no matter if you are in it doing swing trading, core trading, options, day trading, no matter if you day trade twice a week or twice a month, lasting success means that you are successful on a consistent basis, however you do it. And every trader needs a strategy. This is the one key ingredient I'd like you to walk away from today and learn something from me, which is you've got to have a strategy if you trade. It has to be real and it has to be good. It has to be reliable and, and it also has to make sense, okay? It really is about quality, not quantity, in trading the market. When I trade in the morning, I'm looking for usually one good pick. And I'm focusing on one strategy. And not only that, I'm looking for usually one good quality trade. And that's it. Now, there are days sometimes that I might take two trades in one stock. Or I might have two picks, two different stocks, same strategy. But usually, I'd say 95% of the days of the year that I trade, I'm, I usually only do one strategy, one stock, one top pick I have, and one trade. So I've devised a method to pinpoint really quality trades. And I examine the daily chart of a stock to determine what kind of move it will make on the day. Because I'm a day trader, okay, and in what direction. I qualify each stock pick, and if it rates per my 26-point rating system, I will watch it for a trade set up on the day. Highly rated stock symbols have quality entries, which means a good risk to reward. Now, I am going to go over, actually, a trade today that I called in the room that was a quality, quality entry, even though the actual strategy was just so-so. But in, in an ideal world, every day you have a quality pick and a quality setup, okay? Many go to Target, which allows for the maximum profit. I'm going to talk about what I mean by that in a little bit too. So the method that I devise is called the Golden Gap Rating System. It's a checklist. It's a checklist. And again, this goes back to the idea of common sense. Common sense tells you that if you want to be successful in the market, you have to have focus. Many people that trade do not have a focus. If you learn my system, it's very simple because you have the focus. It is essentially your trading plan. You don't have to devise a separate one for yourself. Many people decide they want to trade, and then they're advised by people they read in books. You really need a trading plan, and then people don't know how to create one, and then they struggle with it, or they actually never create one, and they kind of just put it off. You really won't be successful unless you have a trading plan. And the nice thing about my class and my system is that it actually is a trading plan. At the time that I was creating it, though, I didn't, I didn't realize that. But then after I had created my system, I realized that it really was a trading plan. So all you have to do yourself is just decide how much money you want to risk in the market. Now we're going to talk about making 100 grand a year. So all the trains that I'm going to go over today, I used a risk amount that would uh, get you to that goal, okay? Because that's the focus of today's webinar. However, I will tell you that you're not capped at any amount of money you want to make in the market. If you want to make 200 grand or 300 grand in the market using my system or more, it is possible. And not only that, you can use it for day trading or even swing trading. But the main thing I focus on in the morning when I get up before I trade and even before the market opens is my one strategy, which is my rating system, okay? And I do it in the gap and I go through the checklist. So I just go through the checklist and tally them up. Uh, someone here is asking a question. 
Do I manually go over the checklist? Yes. And I have been trading my system for seven years. And the answer is yes. And let me just go into a little bit more detail about that. The best I for the best, the best, uh, how can I put this here? The highest chance of success for myself is in direct correlation to the choices that I make in my own mind. Okay. So in other words, a lot of people have asked me, well, could you program this into a black box kind of system? If you want to. But to be honest with you, it will miss then things that you, once you become an experienced trader, which I am, will see, okay? Today's a good example, which I'm gonna go over the trade from today in Adobe. You are the best one. You are better than any computer if you know how to trade well. People run to rely on indicators and machines to trade because they are afraid and do not trust themselves with the decision-making abilities and they're undisciplined. I trust my own decision-making abilities. It's one of the reasons I'm successful. And I also am a disciplined person, but really discipline just comes down to following the system. That's it. It's very simple, okay? And if you have something successful, why wouldn't you follow it? In reference to futures, someone's asked me, will it work for futures? This is a system that focuses on gaps. So you'd have to look at the gap. Okay, the gap could be in a stock or an ETF, and that is how you would have to apply it. Make sense? The golden gap system that I created is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. So I focus on the shorts, although you can do use it for longs, and I do teach a bullish gap class, but I prefer the shorts. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which stock that is gapping to trade each morning using a checklist. And if you've ever had any experience in the U.S. stock market, which is what the market that I trade in, there are tons and tons and tons of things that gap every day. So you really do have to have a way to focus on which one you're picking. Ultimately, your level of success to be able to make six figures a year in the market, though, depends on longevity and consistency. Because you could have one great day or one great week or one great month, but if you're not consistent, you won't see that number of making 100 grand a year or more. And obviously, if your goal is to make more than that, to make 20 grand a month or 200 grand a month or whatever your goal is, you have to see the consistency. You can't be falling back, okay? You can't take five steps forward and, and 10 steps back. You're not going to get there. The Golden Gap course will teach you a strategy that will help you sustain yourself in the market. And that should be your goal, really. I find a lot of people are short-sighted in their trading, but you can't be like that. When I think back when I started, I didn't realize it would take this long to figure out what I know now. But if I had looked at it more as a process, I probably would have made money faster. So you, you need to understand that. This is a long range thing you're looking to do, okay? Like change careers, really. And long range doesn't mean it's gonna, it has to take you a year. It doesn't even have to take you six months. But long range means you can't in your mind think, I'm gonna jump into this thing and not pay attention to the learning portion of it because there is a learning curve. There, every single solitary person that has come to me to learn to how to trade and taken my class is a learning curve. And I have had people that have taken my class that have traded for longer than I'm alive. So know that I'm very good at what I do because I focus on this one strategy for nothing else but seven years. It's all I do every day and now I teach it too and everyone that comes to me learns something because I'm an expert in this strategy, which is gaps. So you want to learn from someone that's an expert. Someone said you need an edge. My edge is that I'm an expert in trading gaps. And most people out there that trade gaps do not do them correctly, do not do them consistently, profitably, do not do them well. Trading is about consistency and longevity. If you want to have longevity, you need to produce consistent results or you won't make 100 grand a year. The Golden Gap course teaches you how to get consistent results in your trading. So what ingredient do you need to be successful to make six figures of your trading? And why are some traders successful and some are not, okay? Well, we kind of were talking about this a little bit earlier. The bottom line is that trading is a serious business. It's like anything else you would do or any other business you would start. If you went to a bank and said, I want to loan money because I want to start my own business, do you think that bank would just give you money without a business plan? No, you would have to apply for the loan. You would have to present a business plan. You would have to have a strategic outline of everything they're doing. Trading is no different. It's, it's a serious business. It's a business. You've got to look at it as a business. When I get up and very serious in the morning with what I do, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to, I don't want to engage. I want to focus on the stock. 
I, I want to have, yes, I have my coffee, okay? Trading is a skill that can be mastered if you learn one specific strategy to trade and think of it like a business. And I say book money and stop, okay? Your jo you have one job. Your job is you get up in the morning and you make money and stop. And that's why I don't really need more than one trade. I have one job, make money. Boom, that's it. One, one job, that's it. Once the job is done, I'm done. I'm done. You can go back to bed or go to the gym. Making money in the market is not about quantity, it's about quality. And many traders trade all day to 4 o'clock. I don't do that. I'm done very quickly in the morning. And traders that trade all day tend to give money back to the market. And it's exhausting. It is not a function of luck. It is a function of skill to be successful in the market. You've got to learn the right method and skills, and you can create your own luck. Many people do not take trading seriously enough. Luckily, I'm a very serious, passionate person who else would think of 26 points but me? So I think that's one of the reasons I've done well with this because I've always took it seriously. But I take money seriously, okay? I take it very, 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 very seriously. So I think if you have that mindset, you'll do well. Some people do, but don't allow themselves even a chance to be successful. And this is what I'm saying. You know, give yourself a break and understand there's a learning curve here. And maybe you've taken classes or learned other methods before mine or been trading and not had success. Again, you got to give yourself a break. It doesn't mean you don't trust your instincts or trust yourself to make decisions in the market or to trade or ever do a class again. If you get to the point where you stop trusting yourself or your abilities or your own ability to make decisions about things, all is lost because you do have to trust yourself. I'm not there pressing the button for you even if I tell you what to do. You have to learn how to trade, focus on one strategy, and not only that, learn a strategy that is consistent. Okay. So what strategy can you trade to make money in 30 minutes? It's called golden gaps. They set up in the market daily, okay? The moves happen very quickly in the morning into the open between 9.30 and 10. Many gap trades set up and are done in the first hour of the trading day, but I'm looking to get in between 9.30 and 10. You can usually get 75% of the full day's move of a stock in the first 30 minutes between 9.30 and 10. And I know that sounds amazing, but it is true. So there's really no reason to trade all day because I know sometimes it's like, well, you can make a little bit more, but is it really worth it? Is it worth it for you to sit at your desk for four more hours to make another 35 cents? No, that doesn't make any sense, okay? And also, the longer you're in a trade, the more you're at risk. And if you don't know that already, I mean, you should. So the faster I'm in, the faster I'm out, the better my day is, and the more money I make. Gaps happen on a regular basis, and they happen with momentum. This momentum provides the opportunity to train to make six figures a year in profit. So you have to have momentum. Otherwise, you don't get paid. If a stock just moves a teeny, weeny, teeny, weeny, teeny, weeny bit here and there, you're really not going to make money in the market. You've got, it has to move, okay? Now, for those of you that don't know what a gap is, I'm going to do a brief explanation of it here. Some of you probably have heard of gaps before, but I'm still going to go over it. A stock gap from the opening price today is different from the closing price of the previous day's trading. This is a basic definition of what a gap is. A gap is a break in the price action from one day to the next. So a gap is a strategy in the market. And as I was discussing earlier, you absolutely need a strategy to trade. So this is not the entry. This is not a play. This is not a trade. This is a strategy. This is the definition of it. Now, what is a gap? Let's, this is a daily chart, okay? This is a daily chart of Michael Kors. Michael Kors closed up here the night before, this is on the 26th of May, at a certain number, whatever it was, $60 and some cents and change, and gapped down here to run 49 something. So the stock gapped, meaning that the closing price on this day here of the gap of the 26th, and then where it opened on the 27th, the next day when the market opened at 930 was a different number. In this case, it was a gap down. It could have gapped up. Either way, if it had gapped up to 67.50, that would have still been a gap, but it would have been a gap up. It would have been a gap, though, because the closing price here and the opening price here would have been different. Okay. So that's what a gap is. Very simple explanation. So you're looking for these. You can scan for them in the morning a million different places to find gaps. Again, I prefer bearish gaps, but I also teach how to trade bullish gaps, like if this had gapped up. Okay. Now, why do gaps work so fast? One of the main things that's so enticing about my strategy is the time that it sets up and is done. Gaps work fast because there's a sense of urgency creating gaps. It's a panic effect for shorts. 
or I better buy it now or I'll miss it. Emergency effect for long. So if you're looking to go long, it's kind of like you get the big move of the long in the morning quickly because it's like, oh my gosh, I have to get it, I have to get it, I have to get it. It's like an emergency that you want to buy it. And again, it's a panic effect for shorts. I prefer the panic. Either way though, okay, whether you get long or short, something has to be done and it has to be done now in the opening of the gap. And that happens when the market opens at 930. That is how people think of it. So I'm kind of explaining to you the philosophy behind it because if you understand that, you'll, it'll help you understand what's going on in the stock. One of the reasons I do well when I'm determining what to do, like I fill out a worksheet. If you take my class, I have a worksheet. I fill out my worksheet every day. Uh, someone said, do I do it manually? Yes, every day I fill out my own worksheet for each individual gap in stock. And I say, how do I want the stock to set it up on the open? What is the exact ideal entry? And I write it down. And I write it down so that I know what I'm looking for when I go to grab the thing. And then if it sets up the way that I want to, then I take it, okay? But I'm understanding what people are doing in the stock. And that is enabling me to have the conviction to take it and go after it aggressively right at that time period. When many traders actually wait till after 10 o'clock to take trades. I would never do that. I don't take something if it's after 10. If it hasn't set up, then I, I feel like there's no money for me to be made there. I know that sounds hilarious, but it's true. Okay. I'd pass. I wouldn't see the risk to reward. It's how people feel and think and the reaction to the price gap that makes it go fast into the open. And that is really the philosophy behind why gaps have so much momentum. And they're also made by institutional money. I'm not going to go into detail about that today, but the bottom line is that powerful money in the market is what moves stocks in either direction, whatever one they go. And that is the way that individuals like you and I are able to be profitable in the market. If you want to make good money in the market, you have to be consistent with your strategy. And the big key is you go and you look for the same thing day after day after day after day after day. What is one of the benefits of doing that? You get good. Even if you did one thing every day for three months, what is it, 30 days, you have to do, uh, you develop a pattern of habit after 30 days, I think they say, 30 days of the pattern of habit. Many traders don't e can't even get to the point where they're doing the same thing every day for 30 days. I think one of the best things about working with me is I develop in people, force the development of the habit of doing the same thing every day after day. So I force the habit upon you with the discipline that people need. I'm also finding the plays and the gaps when I'm directing people. And on top of that, then it forces the discipline on you to do the same thing. And then over time, as you continue to do that same strategy daily, you get good. And obviously, as time goes by, the more time goes by, the better you get. If you have no strategy, though, you have no consistency. Now, we're going to talk about Mew. Mew actually gapped down. This was over here on the 15th. But the next day, there was no strategy in play in Mew. So I actually do a different stock symbol every day, okay? because I'm looking for a new gap every day. So I don't get up every day and play Apple or Netflix or Mew. I get up and look for a quality pick. It's a different ticker symbol every day because there is not a strategy setting up every day in every stock. There isn't, okay. And so that's another thing that people find that, that they're doing when they're, when they're trading and they can't find the level of uh, consistency, they're looking for things in charts that just aren't there. It's just not there. There was nothing to do with a Mew here on the next day. But on here, there was a play. And on here, there was a play because it gapped. So you could have gotten up in the morning, found the gap, and rated it. Now again, let's go over what a gap is. A stock closed up here at 25, 15, or whatever it was the night before, and gapped down here to 24 something next day. So the difference between the close and open was a different price number. Again, it could have gapped up, but it gapped down. Okay. The most important thing you need to get from this webinar and what many people learn from me is that you need a plan of action to trade in order to be successful. In order to make six figures a year or any amount of money, quite frankly, in order to win, to win in the market, you need a plan of action. You need a plan of action in place in order to be successful trading. And you need a proven strategy and a system that works in order to make money trading. You absolutely must follow this plan to achieve success. And I do not deviate from it. In fact, some days I call amazing trades and I just don't do them myself, but I might call them in the room because I don't get the gap rating. Or I don't see, I see something about it I don't like and then it even still goes on to work. I am so strict right now with what I do. And I think when you get to that point is when you get to a point where, you're, where you really, truly 
have confidence and conviction in yourself in the market because you know that if you don't get the play you want today from the market, you will tomorrow. And, and I know this, like I, I talk about this. I'm like, I just wait for the market to give it to me. I'm like, I just wait for the market to give it to me. There was a time in my trading where I used to fight stuff. I would fight and fight and fight and fight and fight and fight, 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 fight to make it work. And it never, never went anywhere. I mean, you cannot force these things to move, okay? You just gotta just let it come to you. However, you need to know what that looks like. So why do people fail and why do people lose money trading? Number one, they have no plan of action, which is essential. Number two, they have no focus, which is really basically something that many people need guidance for, which I'm mentoring people on. Number three, they have no strategy or play. Again, I teach this in the class. And number four, they have no mentor. And even though I am a very busy person at this point in my career and life, I still do make people time for people to talk to them and email them when they have questions for me and really the time to get me is in the live trading room there to ask me the questions that you need but i take pride in the people that i've taught for them to be successful so i make myself available to people also the number one reason why people lose money in the market is they do not have a system in place that works they even may have a system but it doesn't work and if you're doing something for a while and you're not making money then something's wrong you, you, honestly, if you are doing the same system, like just whatever, you bought a system, whatever it happens to be, and you've been doing it for six months, a year, more, on a demo or live, and you're not making money, then it doesn't work. You just got to say enough, okay? Sometimes people will cling to things, and then they want to try to say it's them. No, it's probably the system doesn't work, okay? They do not have a system that is specific enough, specialized enough, detailed enough, focused enough, and meaningful enough to the real trend of the stock. And this is very, very important because you have to take the trade in the right direction to make money. Now, this was Adobe, Adobe from today. And I will tell you that it ended up going to the full-on target. It actually went past the target. I said 78 for this then on the day. It went through and broke through 78. And again, another beautiful, beautiful move that happened very quickly. Okay, so let's just look here. Here's where Adobe closed the night before, and here's where Adobe opened today, the stock gap down. Again, the closing price is different from the opening. That's all a gap is, and you would get up in the morning and you would rate Adobe. Now, I call this trade in the room in the morning. Adobe rallied, and it was a short right here, and then it fell off a planet. Now, this fell down into the first target through the first number in the morning. Do you see here the stock set up here approximately at 935, 936? And the move that it did happen in 20 minutes, you could have been out. Now, it did make a bigger move down, but you, you would have had to replay it and again hold it much, much later in the day. Why would you have done that when you just had a beautiful, huge move here in the morning? You would take this and you would be up money and you would be done. And this is what I do day after day after day after day after day is to look for a move that happens in the time period between 930 and 10. And you can do as many of them as you see. You can do as every one that you want, but you need to know what to look for in, in, in the stock, okay, in the daily chart of it, to know how to play this long or short. And you would also have to know how to take this trade. This was, this was an excellent call that I made today. Entry time was 9.37. Price was 79.75. The risk was 35 cents. What does that mean? That means that you would size yourself according to the stock. I always use hard stops and I teach people to use hard stops when I trade, so I call the stop in the room. If you had an intermediate risk, which is really what you would need to make 100 grand a year, you would have to risk anywhere between, I'd say, 250 and $500 approximately to make 100 grand a year in the market. And I'm giving an estimate here in these trades, uh, 595 is 1,700 shares for this trade on Adobe. The exit, it moved more than a dollar. A dollar 25 into the first drop, and you could have made 2125 on this. Okay? And this is le in less than 30 minutes. This was in 20 minutes. Here it is. This is a one minute chart. Pre course is asking me a question. This is a one minute chart. This is a daily chart. Okay? But I will tell you, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. Someone else asked me that in the trading room today. I think it was, they had to, it was someone on a trial. It doesn't make a difference. This system, my system is a price-based system. And when you get to the point where you, where you learn how to trade correctly, you will get that too. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If I had one trade a ch chart to trade off of, if someone said you only have one chart, you only have one chart, Melissa, to trade off of, I would, I would pick the daily chart. 
but 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 I don't I have as many as I can but they're all the same because the price of Adobe is whatever it's trading at and it's the same price as trading at and the moment that it's trading on the second that I see it on every chart okay does that make sense so again it's the there's a lack of correlation when when people ask me questions like that and I realize and I know how other places out there teach stuff I get it okay I get it when I started out I went to a lot of free webinars too I didn't read that many books I really just wanted to like I wanted the answers like now so I would go to the webinars too and I know what other people are teaching as well and my competitors but I'm telling you people miss to teach the correlation I'm this it's all the same thing it's Adobe it's the price of Adobe and if you understand how this price action is moving you will you will know how to trade this today and you will make money doing it and this is what I do this is what I do like day after day every day every day every day because I understand what Adobe is gonna do like I'm predicting I'm predicting in the gap rating what Adobe is gonna do I rate the gap I get up in the morning and I rate the gap and I predict that Adobe is gonna sell off today and that's how I know and because I understand money in the market I can predict what it's gonna do I'm doing the exact same thing with the spy and the QQQs I'm predicting they're higher and many many people are predicting they're lower okay which slide I teach the targets in the class Creek course I have a trial for the training room you can email me if you would like a trial for the training room the training room is only open to join if you do my class but you can do a trial you can email me Kathy please put my information in the room for that summary slide on Adobe you mean the trade here DC wants me to go back to there you go I am recording this uh, let me just see the other questions here well you would learn on the class how to take the trade John but the general the general idea of where I'm showing you here is that I have a certain criteria I'm looking for and when I see it I take it but I've got to see it by 10 10 a.m. or I'm not gonna take it okay it must also have a fixed risk so this is an important piece of being able to be consistent if you do not have a fixed fixed risk meaning put in a stop then your risk on Adobe is unlimited in other words let's just say you wanted to short Adobe you didn't put in a stop let's say you shorted Adobe with 5,000 shares you had the buying power to do it and let's say it didn't work and it rallied over $80 rallied up to 81 you would have been down and without a stop in and you would have had an unlimited risk in that and just sized yourself like like that like whatever not even thinking you have to be thoughtful about how you size yourself whether you're taking a thousand shares 500 2,000 5,000 whatever and you also have a stop and that stop helps you be thoughtful about the size and the risk so that's why that's important too okay how did you determine your stop in Adobe and what period MAs are those these are just moving averages I'm gonna go back to this chart here these are just simple period moving averages but I will tell you that you don't necessarily need these to trade I don't I don't I could take these off and trade it wouldn't make any difference to me I, I don't look at anything like this when I'm making the call or trading to be honest with you I I have them up because I had them up for so many years on like my smaller time frames but honestly you don't I don't do anything with that I know some places do I think if you if you focus on those uh, indicators and they they can sometimes take away from what the price is doing you don't need them to trade if you feel like you need something like that maybe try it without it because sometimes I find people rely too much on indicators and then it becomes confusing and then they miss what this what it's actually doing you know what I'm saying like they'll look at it and they'll say well that's rising it's a rising moving average and therefore the it's rallying on the day but at that moment I may be in the trade short or getting ready to short it so I don't use those for anything I do have them up I I just had them up for so long since the beginning I don't know why I even still have them up but they look pretty uh, no I'm trading the actual stop I'm doing an equity trade I'm not doing options you could there are people in my room that actually do use my system for options that is true why did you short Adobe when you had a gap down you thought your system was based on closing the gap no and I'm not sure why you would think my system was based on closing the gap have you ever been to a webinar I've done before no 
that is a false phenomenon since you brought it up. If you are playing gaps to fill themselves, you're not going to be consistently profitable playing gaps. It doesn't work consistently. I don't do that. I don't, I don't even say that in one video. In fact, if, I, if, that, if somebody usually asks me that, I usually end up yelling at them. But I'm not going to yell at you today because I'm in a really good mood. <laughs> and I'm having a great week. <laughs> but I will tell you. <laughs> something that is so false I yell at them so that they understand how false it is so they never 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 take a trade like that because I really would never want you to see to do something like that because you'd lose money in the market and I genuinely want people to make money in the market and let me tell you something if you make money in the market that that doesn't that that doesn't that doesn't go against me so do you understand if I teach people and they're successful that makes me feel good it doesn't make me feel bad and when I, when I have huge days and the room makes a lot of money and we all do good it makes me feel good it doesn't make me feel bad I'm not trying to hold back anything that I know from people that come to learn from me because I feel grateful that I know what I know and I teach them and I understand that it takes a lot for people to spend the money for my class so I want to help them genuinely so when you make money and I make money we're all happy and I get upset with people when they do things that are crazy and playing gap to fill themselves is crazy I didn't explain the method well, but I will in the next chart. I'm going to go on the next chart. And Philip just laughed because he's been with me for a number of years. Um, my, my orders are limit orders. Let me go over the next gap, the next example, and I'm going to go over it. And thank you for pointing out I didn't explain it well enough. Because you know what? To be honest with you, if you people don't ask the questions, I don't know what you know and what you don't. Ask me questions. I have no idea what you know and what you don't. So ask it away. But let me go over this one slide and then we'll go to the next chart, which is the mu. I just want to point out here the rate per hour of the Adobe. So $21.25, you could have made on that risking $595 for how many hours of work. You add up the prep time because you've got to get up in the morning, you got to get ready to do it, and you got to prep. So you have an hour prep time, 30 minutes in the trade, an hour, 30 minutes of work, and you make over two grand for less than two hours of work. What kind of job pays this kind of high rate per hour? Only the most specialized of physicians, law firm partners, hedge fund managers, and CEOs would make this kind of rate per hour working. So I'm, you're, you're in the upper echelon here if you can make this kind of money this fast. A thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. You're an upper echelon here of people in the planet to make this kind of money in this time frame. Do you understand me? So you are really at the top of your game if you can do it at all okay and I need to point that out now let's go here to the mu Ed is saying I didn't explain it well well let's talk about it Ed said about the gap fills now on the mu mu was a short so mu got down so I would rate mu using my 26 point rating system Ed and that rating system would tell me whether or not I should be shorting mu in the case of a gap down if mu had gapped up, I would rate the gap using the 26-point rating system, and I would try to determine then if it was a good long. Oh, I just heard a noise. Is everybody, can everybody hear me, or did I lose connection? Can you hear me? Quickly, Kathy, somebody, did I lose connection, or can everybody hear me? Am I there? Okay. I don't know what that was. I thought I lost the internet. Okay, that was weird. Uh, you do not have much time to find the gaps after the market opens. I don't find them after they open, Chuck. I find them before the open. You can you could be looking for gaps right now. I'll tell you right now tonight, Oracle's gapping down. Peer is gapping up. It's six oh seven. Gaps are happening at night and they happen in the morning. You, you, have, you have more than 12 hours you could prepare yourself. You could get ready to trade tomorrow morning right now with my system, Chuck. So I get ready before the open. I don't wait till after the open. It's too late. Yeah, you're right. You wouldn't have time. But luckily, I, I can figure it all out. I could work tonight all night long. But I usually get up early and do it in the morning. But you could rake gaps at night, and you can rake gaps in the morning. Okay? Now, getting back to Ed's question, this the gist of this is, Ed, that I'm looking to rate the gap to play it in the direction of the gap. So in the case of mu, I'd be looking to rate it to gap down. Now, I said I had a 26-point system. What am I looking for? I'm not looking for a perfect score. I'm looking for 20 or more. If it totals 20 or more on the list, 
then I can do it as a short. If it doesn't, I don't do it at all, Ed. So I'm not buying it then, but I'm not shorting it then either. If, oh, that was a cute question, OB. If you're not as good as me, how long would you need to prepare for the opening? It depends how many gaps you want to rate. It depends how many gaps there are. But let's just say, for example, you would run a rate a gap and you were new. I'd say you have to give yourself like five to seven minutes to rate one gap. You could get, rate them faster as you get better. But I'd say give yourself five to seven minutes to rate one gap. So in the morning, you probably would rate maybe at the most four or five things. So I'd say if you give yourself a half an hour to prepare, you're good. Does that make sense? And that's if you're new. You, you're not going to rate 500 things. Do you know what I'm saying? You're not going to do that. And remember, you only need one. So if you find one, you could, you could just go with the one. But I'm saying you could rate as many as you want and do more. But I'm saying, like, let's just say you roll out of bed. You see the mew. You rate the mew. It's a good gap. You want to do it. You don't, you don't have to rate any other ones. Now, you could, but I'm saying you don't have to because you only need one. Does that make sense? But I'd say give yourself five to seven minutes. But I'm definitely preparing before the market opens, Chuck. I mean, absolutely. And if something ends up just falling into itself in a gap and opening into a gap with no volume because it didn't gap in the morning before the open, then I, then I don't do it because then I, have, I, I call that trading on the fly then. And I'm not trading on the fly with the risk I'm taking. Now, here was the play in the mu. Again, mu gap down. Close the night before up here, gap down. Open, fell, drop. You could have shorted mu right here, boom, out. Rally back, shorted mu again, boom, out. You could have done two trades in mu or one trade in mu again before 10 o'clock. Here's 10 o'clock, mu bounced. In fact, it bounced. This was the trade in here. Two trades in mu or one trade in mu, and you're done. Where do you see the gaps? You can, you can find gaps anywhere in the world. You can find gaps. Scanners, I mean, it's not hard to find gaps. Entry time of the first trade in mu here is 936. Finding gaps is the easy thing. It's qualifying them that you have to learn. Price of the entry is $24. Risk is $0.30. Cents. So, again, you're trying to size yourself around that four, five, six dollars $600 mark, okay, if you're taking a new intermediate risk. So 450, if you take 1,500 shares, exit in here, this is the first drop. It's just boom. This is 375 bucks you could have made. This happened like literally within three minutes. I'll go back. Entry time in the second trade is 940. Price of the entry is 24. Risk is 30 cents. You take another 1,500 shares. Out, 2370 into the next drop. You make 450. So you take two trades in here, you could have made $825 very quickly. Because here's the first trade, drop, out. Here's the second trade, drop, out. Boom, done. Go on with your day. And this is momentum. This is, this is what you want to play. Because it happens, and it happens quickly. And to be honest, this is why I like the shorts. Again, rate per hour. Not as much as you would have made if you had done the Adobe, but still, beautiful. $825 to work for 30 minutes? Who the heck makes that kind of money? Dan is asking if I'd share one point. No, I'm not doing that. And, I, and I'm not going to rant today about why I'm not sharing information that took me three years of my life in the market to figure out in a webinar. I'm, I'm teaching you stuff here. You know, please understand, my, my information is highly valuable, okay? To be able to do something consistently to make this kind of money is very, very valuable. And yes, I do charge for the price of my class, but I really can possibly give away any of the stuff I teach in the class for free. This stuff here to me is just like basic knowledge, but I'm teaching you something here because many people don't get this. And the fact that I'm talking about, you know, the difference in these charts, like, again, this is stuff, it's good questions for people to ask me because a lot of times people, I just don't know what people know and what they don't. And, I, and, and I've been told this before, you know, I, I've been told this before in reference to my teachings but, I, you know, I, I need people to ask me questions so I know what you know to help you learn it. Because to be, to be honest, I just assume that everyone's very smart and bright and knows everything. So you've got to ask me questions. I, I don't know what you know until you ask me. But I'm not teaching you what I teach in the class, in the webinar. I may be answering the question further in your presentation. How do you find gaps to, prior to the market opening? You can go on your platform and find them. Do you have a platform right now? If not, I can show you at the end. Pre-market, what do you use to view the gaps? Again, my platform. 
Options help. Options help. You have a platform. You have a platform. Options help. I'm surprised you don't know how to do that. I'll show you on my platform when we're done here. Options help. You have a platform. You can do it. I can't believe you didn't ever ask me that before now. Uh, do you have success trading non-earnings gaps? Yes. Of course. G tr gaps. Hey, listen. Mu was not an earnings gap. This wasn't an earnings gap. Okay. And actually, neither was the next example uh, that we're going to talk about. Things gap for many, 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 many reasons. I use Sterling. Uh, options help. You might have to change platforms. Or there might be some uh, type of thing in there that you can ask your customer service to teach you how to, to actually uh, find to scan for the gaps. I, I'm, I'm surprised. I'd be surprised, Options House, if you don't have the ability to, to scan. Uh, let me just see. How much is the capital required to put on 1,500 shares? This is very easy. You take the price of the stock times the X is for the multiplication symbol, the cost basis, okay, price of the stock, cost basis times the number of shares equals So that's basically the formula. You take the price of the stock, okay, times the number of shares equals the amount of buying power needed. Just to write it down, let's just pretend the stock costs a dollar. So if the stock costs a dollar times a thousand shares, okay, you would need one thousand dollars in buying power. And I'm just I'm just doing this to make a simpler thing. You just plug any numbers in there. You can do it with a calculator. You can do it in your head. I'll go over that at the end about the scanning. You, uh, have you traded futures before? How do you get started with a course and how much you need your account to start? We'll go over that at the end. The course is $3,500. How much you need your account to start? You can start with whatever amount that you want to start with in a, in a day trading account. Whether you go with a retail trader or proprietary day trader will depend on the capital allocation they will give you for the buying power. So you would have to talk to the broker about the buying power that they will give you based on the amount of money that you would put up. If you go with a proprietary day trading account, you can put up less money than a retail account with more buying power for day trading. Uh, so example, just create course, figure it out yourself. $24 times 1,500 shares equals what? Figure it out. You can figure it out with your calculator right now. Let me just see the other questions here. Finding them might be easy for you, but there has to be a best source for doing so. Your platform. What source you can recommend for a newbie? Your platform. This is so easy. I Honestly, really, it's your platform. And you're paying for your platform if you're a trader. Your platform, your platform, your platform. Um, Pink, there's lots of reasons, again, for gaps. It, it's like you can just, you have to just rate it. I rate the gap. I, I, there's, there are a lot of earnings gaps, but there are things gap for downgrades and upgrades and Kramer talks about something to something gaps. I still rate the gap no matter what. Again, the mu was not an earnings gap. Where does the information come from that make up the 26 point checklist? It came from my head and I, and that's what I teach in the class, but I'm looking at the daily chart to determine it. But that's how you're going to get the information to decide if you get the point rating or not. Do I have a minimum percent gap in the stock you consider? No, I don't. I don't have any minimums or maximums except for the fact that I'm not going to trade something that's too thin. I don't want to do a stock that's too thin. I don't want to take 5,000 shares of something that is 50,000 shares and then I'm 10% of the people that are in that stock on the day. I, I have no percentage of anything that has to do with anything with the actual gap or the rating, whether I do anything. The only requirements I have is that I cannot trade something that is too thin because if it's too thin, I won't be able to take size in it. If I can't take size in it, then I feel like, I feel like why bother trading it because I won't be able to make money then. I don't want to take 100 shares of something for it to drop a dollar to make 100 bucks. And there's plenty of stocks in the market that have volume. I see the gaps again in the, in the morning or at night. You love me already. Oh, that's nice. Uh, options help. Email me about that. I can refer you some brokers. Let me just see if I got all of the questions 
pre-course, did you figure it out yet? Did you figure this out in your calculator? Why I keep talking? Twenty-four dollars times fifteen hundred shares equals what? There, you have. That's your job for tonight. Figure that out. And when we're done here, we'll look at the platform. All right, I think I got everybody's question. So why trade gap? Stocks that gap have big moves on the day. Stocks that gap usually have their moves within the first thirty minutes of the trading day. Stocks that gap have huge moves with small stops, which means you can make more money with less risk. Okay, and stocks at Gap have a chart precision, which, boy, you know, Adobe was pretty perfect today. That is very unique in the market. This precision will help you stay consistent so you can achieve your goal of making six figures a year. And there is a precision in charts. I think that's why I love this stuff. If I thought I was gambling when I traded, I wouldn't trade. And now I am taking risk. There's an element of risk no matter what because you, you ha I put in a stop, obviously, because I know I'm at risk. And I put the stop to protect myself. But I'll tell you, there is a chart precision that even like today when I call that Adobe, I, don't, I, almost, I almost call that trade and was just like, I just, no one could see my face after I called the trade, but I like sat here with my, you know, mouth on the floor about the way I called that Adobe today. It was chart precision. You do not need a hundred strategies in place to make money in the market. You need one strategy in one play, which works. And if you can combine one strategy in one play and do them extremely well, you can make six figures a year trading. And not only that, you can make more. And that's what a complete system should do for you. It should not only provide you with the knowledge to be able to trade well, but to be able to make more money over time. And a few good trades can make your month. So there's no reason to get upset. If you get up one day and it's a slow day or, or it's a July 4th holiday, day before the holiday, and you don't have a good gap, then you, then you just go to the gym. You go on with your day. You don't trade. Okay? It's not about this idea of doing things that are crap. You are still, even though you have the strategy and the system and you learn the method, you're not going to do something that isn't good. All right? Uh, you got it, Creek Course. Okay. What is the psychology behind the gap? Well, let's talk about that when we're done. That's too long of a question, but I will answer it. Let me just get through the next last example here, which is Michael Kors. Michael Kors, okay, it actually somebody had asked about reasons for gaps Michael Kors gap the other day and this was not an earnings gap now this was but this one wasn't DC you people are so silly I'm gonna laugh at some of you people DC just asked me what percentage of wins do you have in a hundred trades no one wins a hundred percent of the time do you honestly think that I win 100% of the time? Some of you are so silly. I mean, I just have to laugh now. <laughs> it's just really silliness. You know, do you think I'd even use a stop if I didn't, if I didn't ever lose? Come on. Let's get serious here, please. I just got done talking to you about how serious I'm about trading. I, I you know, come on. Anyways, let's go to the Michael Kors. So Michael Kors had a drop. Again, into the first half an hour here of the period. I'm looking to trade in the first 30 minutes. So here was one that gapped. Again, someone asked about the percentage. It doesn't have to do with the percentage. Here's where it closed and here's where it opened. Okay. And here, this was a good gap here. Here's where it closed and here's where it opened. See, the percentage is very, very different. It has nothing to do with the percentages. Okay. So anyways, this gapped. And here was the play in this again in the morning. Okay. Entry time, 9.36. Price, 47.80. Risk is 15 cents. On 3,000 shares, the risk is $450. Exits, 47.20. Total profit, 1,800. This is a good trade. It's a 4R trade, meaning for every dollar you risk, you made $4. Again, in 30 minutes. This is an advanced risk. Let's say you don't want to take that immediately, but I'm telling you this is where you need to be to make this kind of money between three, four, five hundred dollars $500 in your risk. You could risk half. So then you would have made $900, still a nice trade. Now, going back to what I was saying earlier too, okay, you are not taking a million. So the idea of taking a $450 risk, let's just say you've never taken a $450 risk on a trade before, but you probably have lost, if you've been trading for years, at least $450 in some of your days trading. But again, if you're looking for quality and you know you're only going to do one, then you know what I'm saying? It's like many people will take eight trades and lose $1,000, whereas I take one and might risk $1,000 on one. 
And then, then it goes on to work on making several thousand dollars in the trade. So it is about the quality. It is about the quality. It's not about spreading it out into a million different trades like a crapshoot. Like, well, some will work and some will not work. That is so not the way that I trade. So again, learn to, the takeaway from here is not just to focus on one strategy, but one play and one quality pick. Because in the end, many of you that are trading, I'm sure, are taking all these trades. Like, well, some will work and some won't work. Or it's 50-50 or whatever. I don't take trades like 50-50. I'm like, I have 100% conviction and I go after the trade and I take it full on and I take the risk, okay? And many times it'd be the same risk that somebody might take in 10 trades, but I don't do 10 trades. And so because I know that I won't do 10, 10 trades, I can take the risk I need to take to make the money. Let me just see here. Oh, my Lanta is true. Melissa, not sure if you mentioned it, but how can you tell if you're looking the night before the stock is gonna gap without seeing the next day's candle? The next day's candle, you can still see the gap. We'll go over that when we're done here. Rate per hour in cores was $1,800. Again, it's an amazing rate per pay. I will tell you though, there's people in New York that I've met that are making this kind of money, that are in high level jobs, that own companies, that are CEOs that I've met this year that are making thousands of dollars an hour. But I, for the most part, it is very unusual to meet people that are making this kind of money in their jobs. But I have met some very high level people this year that are making this kind of money. But to be honest, they, you know, they're, they're older than me. Okay, and I've been doing what they're doing for a long, long time. The, the nice thing about trading, okay, is that, and, and I answer this here, who is the system for, is that anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. You don't have to go to school, and you don't have to be experienced in business for 25 years to make this kind of level income, okay? Now, I'm not saying you're going to make it the week after the class, because I have no idea what your size of account is, and I don't know what your learning curve is in your mind, how quickly you're going to be able to grab the information I teach you and put it to use. But I do know you can within a fast period of time, meaning it doesn't have to take years, and many high-level executives that are making this kind of income, are, are, it's taken them years to get to this level. Do you understand the difference? So it, this doesn't have to take you years to get to the level. And the nice thing is because it took me three years to figure it out, I spent the time to figure it out, you don't have to do that. Your learning curve is shortened if you come and take my class with me because I already figured it out. I lost money in the market before I figured this out. So who is the system for? Anyone that wants to trade and that has the time in the morning to do it between 9.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. Eastern time. Should you be in the room in the morning before 9.30? Yes. You, at the time, I give yourself at least 30 minutes, an hour if you want to, or prep the night before if that works better for you. I'm done trading every day, usually by 10, 10, 15, 10, 30, and I run the room to 11 because I teach and review the trades afterwards. But it doesn't matter if you're young or old or a man or a woman. If you've never traded before, you've been trading for 30 years, anyone can do this. And if you have a system now you use that you like that may set up later in the day, you can do this in the morning and do your other thing. But I have found that a lot of people lack success in the market and consistency because they don't really have one thing they do every day. And this is what I have the ability to be able to teach people to do, and it helps them make money. People that like or need to make money quickly each day in fast gap moves are the ones that really, really are meant for this system. So you need the strategy to make six figures a year. This is what is necessary to do it, which is what the topic of the webinar. You need a strategy, you need a play, and you need a concept to give you an edge. The following components specifically and in their entirety, this is what you need. This is what a complete system is. And any complete system you can make this kind of money is what it takes. Uh, let me just look here at some questions. Are your targets based on, that's too long of a, uh, a question, Pink. I teach that in the class about targets and entries. Uh, percentage number, DC. DC wants an exact percentage of my winners. It is well over 70%, but I'm going to say 70% to be conservative just for you, DC. But I will tell you that this year, 2015, I have never traded better in my life. You'd be better off asking somebody in the room what my percentage is that's been trading with me this year, because I bet they say over 80. It could be even over 90. I, I, I am having a great year. Okay, but I have been trading for seven years and I really just don't do anything if I don't like it anymore. And by the way, that is what it is. Do I sometimes have losers? Yes. Why do I sometimes lose? There are times when a gap doesn't work. That's why sometimes I lose. So that's the only time I lose when the gap doesn't work. And you must take that into account when you determine your risk in trading that there will be some days when the gap will not work. 
okay? But to be conservative, I'm going to say 70%. But to be honest with you, if you found a system that worked even 51% of the time with a payout of three risk units in the trades that work and one loss in the ones that don't, you would be profitable. Do you understand that? But my system works way more than that. But just think about that, VC. Uh, yeah, people that run companies work a heck of a lot more hours than this. Uh, Tin Cup is talking about Michael Kors. This chart of Michael Kors here, you discounted the use of moving averages, but you should know that Kors was going to chop around to whatever that moving average is you're using caught up at the price. Wrong. And then is when the price really began falling, enabling you to profit on the trade. No, again, I don't look at that. I'm guaranteeing the MA bounce off is either 21 or 50, right or not. No, there's no 50 on here. And again, I just went over this. I don't use the moving averages to trade. And it wasn't going to do that. That, again, that type of mentality, it was going to do that. It was going to, it was going to bounce off of this or not go until this moving average. No, 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 no. You do not make money using moving averages, people. You don't. Okay? So I teach a class. The Golden Gap course is a two-day class on how to trade professional bearish gaps. The Golden Gap course is designed to help you strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. If you made money just following moving averages, do you have any idea how easy it would be to trade? We just all follow moving averages. I go la 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 la, and I'd wait until it bounced off it, and I'd short it, or wait until it went into it, and I buy it. Think about it. Common sense. Common sense, people. Okay, there's a lot more to trading than that. So, food for thought is that most people do not have a focus. And this is what they look like then when they go into the market in the day. You cannot be relaxed when you're like this, and it's very stressful. Again, I got up in the morning, I look for what I want. If I find it, I take it. If I don't, I don't. It's about making the connection that when you learn how to trade, making a lot of money is actually not only uh, possible, it is probable, and it is actually your right. Your, it is your right to go into the market and take money if you are willing to do what it takes to learn it and to actually go in and take the trade and take the risk and do it correctly and wait for it or look for it and know what to look for. It is not something that many people are able to do because they lose the fact that they have to have the focus. It is about making that connection. So the Golden Gap course will teach you a strategy that will help you sustain yourself in the market. Trading is about consistency and longevity. If you want to have longevity, you need to produce consistent results. The Golden Gap course teaches you how to get consistent results in your trading with one strategy, which is your daily focus. If you want a life with personal freedom and a six-figure income, you need to make a plan. You need a trade, uh, a training plan, which my class provides, okay? So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade. It is a full-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online, so you can be anywhere in the world and take it. The class is this weekend, June 20th and 21st. If you're interested, it's from 9 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, someone had asked the cost of the class. It's $34.99. If you would like to sign up, you need to email me for the sign-up papers at melissa at, the small, at the stockswish.com. Let me see here. If you have a small bank role, the method with small account seems like it work well with options. Yes, some people have small accounts that are doing options, Chuck. Okay. I don't use them at all, Tin Cup, too. I, I don't. But if you don't believe me, I don't know what to say. Um, do whatever. I don't, Tin Cup, too. Whatever you use, use it. If you're using moving averages and they work for you, go for it. Don't try to convince me of something that I don't believe in. I'm successful and I'm making money and I don't use certain things. And no one is going to convince me to use something that I don't want to use or do something I don't want to do. And luckily, I don't, it doesn't matter to me because I'm making money. So you don't need to try to convince me of anything. If you are making money, I'm not sure why you're here. I, I don't know what to say. I don't go to other people's webinars because I'm, I'm successful. So I really am not sure why you're here to learn from me then. You, you really have to do what works for you. If you are making money in the market now, congratulations. Do it. Use what you know. Go forward. If you're not and you want to learn something, then come to me, okay? I also teach a class that's called the Trends Course. 
This is July 28th and 29th, 12 to 4. Cost of the class is $9.99. It's a course in how to read trends and stock charts. This is for longer term training, longer term trends. I'm offering the Wealth Manifestation course free for students in the month of June. Anyone that does a GAP class this weekend, I'm offering this class for free. Okay? It is normally $3.99. If you want to do this class separate, it's just a trading psychology course, but it really gives you an eye-opening look into the way that I think about money, which is one of the reasons that I'm successful, okay? I also do have a bullish golden gap course, which I'm teaching this month as well. The date of this class is June 25th and 26th. This is during the week, Thursday and Friday, next week. Thursday and Friday, 12 to 6. Cost of this class is $34.99. This is if you want to focus on bullish gaps. Again, I prefer the shorts. But I'm very good at bullish gaps too, which is why I've been calling the market well. So summer is here. It is a great time to trade. Um, I'm also doing a bonus day three for this class, which is on the Monday after the class. I'm doing, uh, I'm rating gaps. I'm going to be rating gaps live. So on Monday of next week. So Saturday and Sunday is a class. And then Monday morning, we're going to trade and rate gaps live. I don't do that in the room every morning going through all the ratings, but we're going to do that on Monday. So I'm doing a day three bonus day for this Golden Gap class to really help people. And, and remember, you can be successful and make this kind of money and have the life you want. I believe that anybody is capable of doing it. You have to set your own goals. You need to be focused. You need to know what you uh, need to do in order to accomplish that, those goals. But I certainly can help you work that out. All right, does anyone have any questions? Some people wanted to go over... Uh, some people wanted to go over some things about finding gaps. I don't know if we have a minute here to quickly bring that up or not. I just, let me quickly bring up my charts here. Just, if you can, if you can just allow me one minute here, Kathy, to answer some questions people had about gaps. Can you give me just one minute here? One minute. And any other questions anybody has while I bring up my charts here? Hold on one sec. 